guys, Boris T here. How's going? Welcome to this new video. You're probably asking yourself why you are in your studio again, why you're not in Norway. The Norwegian girlfriend threw me out, so... No, I'm joking. I'm actually back because I had to sign a couple of papers here and uh, bring all my stuff because someone here is moving. So yeah, I have to figure out how to bring all my stuff, talk with some companies, you know, that will probably require a couple of weeks. So we are stuck here. So that means, unfortunately, no more vlogs for two, three weeks, which is sad because I love those videos and you love to watch those videos. I think it's time to do finally React into your bands part three. I promised you that uh, this will have been a uh, weekly appointment but uh, never trust me so with that said the first band that we are going to react is called Niflungor it's a one-man band from Serbia my neighborhood and plays melodic black metal seven minutes and 51 seconds we start with some clean guitar I like the cover, it's particular, it's kind of a mix of uh, anime style. Good mixing and mastering. The drums are really clean, the guitar are really clean too. Good distortion. I can feel some dissection vibe here. Oh, um, yeah. This is uh, dissection style. Nice voice. I like the voice, really punching. Oh. It's all a crescendo, I like it. Look at this bomb blast. Nice, nice, I like it. I like it. This is a nice section by mix it with some fresh metal. I like really, really nice melodies and the voice is... Uh, And then there's this evil melody. Really, really nice. I'm curious how we will be able to keep it up for 7 minutes and 50, but. Uh, Let's hear. There's a good, good amount of riffs in this song. Oh yes, my man. It's kind of make you think what's next, you know, it's, it's nice, nice. You could just repeat, you know, the same riffs over and over, but uh, you always find new riffs that sounds actually good and entertaining. We have also solo. The gold death black solo style. And now we are back with another riff. Really a nice work, man. And we have another riff. I don't think that we have heard this riff before. I 
Nice. It's it's crazy. It's crazy that the song is uh, seven minutes and fifty, and it just went like nothing because the song was uh, entertaining. Totally approved. Remember to check all the bands in the comment section down below. So the second band we are going to react is a band from Germany. The band is called I Drink My Coffee Alone. He play experimental electronic deathcore, and he just released his fifth album. Whoa. <sighs> <coughs> nice roll. Ho ho! Boom! Holy shit! That's a not real drum. You can't fool me. It's super hard to do that with the double bass pedal. What the fuck the drum is doing? Holy shit. Sounds like a... Or the double bass is going so fast or... It's Interesting. Definitely have some personality. Yes. <laughs> that was nice. That is some weirdest shit ever heard. Breakdown. Nice! <laughs> wow! I like it, it's uh, particular. There's so many things going on. I like it, it it's kind of crazy, you know? It... I like the changes. It's brutal! It's brutal, it's strange, it's uh, fascinating, I would say. There's a slight pinch of black metal also. I appreciate that. Do we have some epicness here? Do we have it? Yes, we have it. <laughs> Those parts when the stuff exploded are so freaking good. I have a couple of that in my album and I like it. Man! Wow! I'm impressed and it's uh, just the second song, whoa! What I like of this one was the craziness. Uh, th there's something that I didn't like, the double bass parts. Double bass parts were too fast, it was too much unnatural. That's the only part, the rest, everything was nice. The third band that we are going to react is a black metal band from Spain. They play black metal and they're called Porphyria 666. A long song, 6 minutes and 16. Let's see what we have. Oh, video clip. Finally, I can watch something. We're definitely in the old school territory. Last bit. Last bit for all. The mixing and mastering is um, raw, but clean. Sounds good. The sing is Spanish.
The riffs, I'm sorry to say guys, but are a little bit generic. That passage, how you say that uh, between this riff and the others, it's really classic. This one too. If I want you guys, I will work a little bit more on the riffings. I'll tell you more at the end of the song. It's not the bass uh, that uh, do this cool stuff, but it's the keyboard actually, I think. Okay, I was I thought that was the bass doing some uh, weird notes, you know, and standing over the guitar, but uh, it's the keyboard. Okay, so I will tell you now what I think it doesn't work with this song. Let me take my guitar. Listen. This is one of the riffs of the song and if I want, I can uh, probably cover the entire song in 20 minutes. And that's because the riffs are predictable. I know that you guys probably love old school black metal, it's clear from the video. Black and white, classic makeup, sounds really old school, but the problem is that uh, there's no personality. If this song came out in 90s, well, I mean, great, but uh, it's more than 30 years. It's the classic stuff that you play when you start to play black metal, you know? I will work a little bit on the riffing. Fourth band! This band is from Slovenia, it's called Constrictor and they play a heavy metal mixed with melodic death metal and they say that they're not signed with any label but they're planning to record their first album. Let me say something, I watch your picture and I'm kind of sure that I know your guitarist and I'm sure that he sold me the ticket for Metal Days 2012. It was the guitarist of a band called Era of Hate. By the way, we are here for the song and the song is it's called The Beast Arises. We are definitely in um, melodic death metal territory. That voice was unexpected. <laughs> Holy shit! That singer knows how to get died. That sounds interesting. Is this heavy metal or melodic death? I like the voice. I like the voice. Nice. Okay. Sounds like 80s, and as you know, I am a huge fan of 80s. Nice, nice, I love 80s. Yes, yes, my friend. Oh, 
Really nice, really nice. Just, just, just let me check something. Did they actually say melodic death metal? Or I dream about that. No, melodic death band from Slovenia. Heavy metal mixed with melodic death. Okay. Beside the beginning, I heard a lot of uh, 80s metal. Not too much melodic death, but uh, I don't care because the song is good. Holy shit, he can cover still hard with no problem. Yeah, for now I don't hear any mellow death metal. Beside the riff at the beginning, for me this is uh, like a totally heavy metal song. A mix of uh, Malila Rhodes, Iron Maiden and all... Judas Priest and all good stuff from 80s. Maybe you can say that this part is a little bit metal death in the guitar, but uh, okay, that that was unexpected. Double bass pedal, dummy. Still, for me, sounds so this. Ah! No. Usually 80s metal drums are so predictable. Nice. Nice, but uh, it's this one was easy. I mean, you know, if you know me, you know that I love 80s. I have even uh, uh, 80s metal project. This one here. As I say, I didn't hear heard any melodic death metal, to be honest. But uh, this song here, as a heavy metal song as it is, majestic singer. Wow, nice voice. I like it. Totally approved. So we are almost at the end. Fifth band out of six. Are you still there? Are you still with me? You didn't skip, right? Good. So the next band is called Xifikurg. I hope I pronounced it well. Guys, start to use easier name, god damned. This band is from Poland, at the beginning they didn't want to share any information, any details of them. They still remain anonymous and they do in this way to emphasize and promote music and its message and not themselves. The band wrote to me, we want to oppose the beautiful black metal nowadays, that is why we want to cut off of the genre of black metal. We recognize ourselves as a new genre, the blackest metal. 7 minutes and 20. I can hear some bottle. For now, what I can hear, we are in an old school territory. I'm not a huge fan of uh, really distorted vocals. I think that too much distortion makes them just uh, not uh, enjoyable, not understandable.
Uh, I, for now I hear the same problem with the previous band. The riffs are a little bit too generic. Na, na, na. The voice, my man, is ruining it in my opinion. It's too distorted. It doesn't create the atmosphere. It just, uh, it's just taking over the rest. From blast bit? Will the situation change from now on? This is just already much better than the beginning. I understand what they want to do with their music and there is a potential. They have just to fix a couple of things. Work a little bit more on the riffs and the voice. Take off that distortion, man. This part, as I say, that's really better than the previous one. So I understand guys what kind of atmosphere you want to communicate with your music, listening to the music and watching the visual kind of work, but there's some stuff you have to fix. The voice, you, you can't communicate anything with this type of voice, it's just pure noise. Vocals are the most important part of the song, the voice is what the listener will concentrate the most. The second thing are the riff, the first band Niflungar, the song was even longer, it felt like three minutes because the riffs were really good, so there's potential. But but uh, you have to work a little bit on it. And we are at the end of this video with the last band. So this band comes from Mexico and the name of the band is Art Rocker, the Rider of the Night. Oh yeah, <laughs> classic speed rock, <laughs> classic speed rock riffs, nice cover. Yes! This is the music that you expect when you go in a dirty metal pub, drink your damn beer, <laughs> yes, yes, a mix of uh, let me vocals with screams. Nice. <laughs> what the fuck? We have let me, but we also have a uh, Rob Alford. The best song to, 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 to end this video, seriously. Some good, good old school rock and roll. Sometimes you don't have to be original. It's not that the product is good. This is stuff that you have heard probably tons of times, you know, the riffs, etc. But uh, are it good riffs? Riffs that keeps your attention. Yes! Nice. Fun. 
This is what this music is. Fun. And I love it. Maybe the only thing is the side is a little bit too long. Because I was like, it will finish soon, but it's continuing and we have still two minutes. Yeah, okay. He's uh, doing too much. It was a little bit too long. I think the song should have uh, finished before. Three minutes was uh, enough. Six minutes are a little bit too much. I love this part. I don't understand. Is the same guy on drums? I think yes. He first probably played drums uh, and then he played the oh, Black Bride. Stop it. I can't react to you. I like your music. Back to Hard Rocker. I love the song. The only disappointment that I had is that uh, after three minutes I was like, oh, this song is perfect. Now it's gonna finish. And then the soul started and it was so long. Three minutes will have been super enough. But beside that, awesome. I love this type of music. I love the song. The first three minutes were really good. So check this guy too. In the comment section down below, I will put all the links of the song and the name of the bands. So guys, we are at the end of the video. I hope you stayed here until the end. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any other suggestions for new videos, if you want to see something in particular here while I'm here to film, just tell me in the comment section down below. With that said, my friends, hope you have a nice Sunday and I will see you really soon. Cheers! Satan. <laughs>